Hi there, welcome to science class again. So for today, we're going to talk about the formation of the typhoon. So let's get started. In the formation and development of the typhoon, it will always begin as a tropical, or we call it a tropical cyclone, and always starts over a large body of water which is relatively warm. So the water rises once it turns into its gaseous states. So when it cools down there in the troposphere, it will cause the water vapor to condense into a storm cloud. Then, supported by some of the lightning continuously getting more water vapor from the surface of the bodies of water. So now, during the process of condensation, the latent heat release which warms the cold air and making this air lighter and causing it to rise again, forming more clouds. So approximately, um, the diameter of the eye of the storm could be as big as 370 kilometers as a result of converging winds which collide near the water surface. This is a satellite view of what it looks like, the eye of the storm or the typhoon. So more warm and moist air are being pushed upward and the circulation and the speed of the wind is then now increased. The speed of the wind increases as the high pressure air is thrown into the low pressure center of the storm. So what about the different stages of progress progression of typhoons? Stage 1, we call it the tropical disturbance. It is a discrete weather system of clouds, showers, that is how we describe it, and thunderstorms with an apparent circulation that originates in the ocean, in the tropical region. And then, it remains intact for 24 hours and it has one type called tropical wave that develops about every four to five days then becomes tropical storm or hurricane when strengthened or typhoon the movement is from east to west here's the view or satellite view showing you a tropical disturbance Stage 2 is called Tropical Depression, when the thunderstorms are slightly more organized than, um, than the disturbance. A close circulation of air in the low levels is developed, and the winds blow stronger due to the greater convergence that causes quicker decrease in the pressure, like what you see in our satellite trip. Stage 3 is called the tropical storm. The winds increase greatly and can take as little as half day to as much as a couple of days. It is a better organized thunderstorms and when viewed in the satellite. Stage 4 is severe tropical storm. It shows a recognizable pattern of rotation. It has more concentrated convection near the center with outer organized rainfall into the stick fence. Like this. Next is the stage 5. We can call it typhoon, hurricane, or even cyclone. Storm grows more intense. Rotation is more obvious when viewed in the satellite. There is a calm wind at the center of the storm. That center of the storm is called the eye. As you can see, it's like a hole in the middle of clouds. So what are the factors affecting typhoon? A typhoon can become stronger and be upgraded into super typhoon as long as the conditions continue to become favorable for the cyclone. But despite its 
destructive power, a typhoon can cease to in intensify its tropical characteristics due to several factors, such as if there's a cold water, if there's no water, and a very weak witch land. There's a strong witch. So that is for this day. And remember, you make it the storm calm so that the waves thereof are still. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening.